Hi all, Katrina with Blue Phoenix Creations. Today I'm painting the Tulips Silk Charmeuse Scarf. This one doesn't have a great name yet. But anyhow, the lightning round of applying the metallic resist before the fun starts. Setting up the colors I'm using. You can see the little test round of making the right purple on my palette. And we're off to the races. Starting with a beautiful sapphire blue, I am being very careful to stay far enough away from the line that I'm not flooding so that it doesn't bleed everywhere. It's a delicate dance between getting the color all the way to the line, but not letting it go past the line. And honestly, I don't know why I'm being so careful here, because with this scarf, we're going to go for a big halo and let it bleed way, way out. But I guess old habits die hard, and I'm going to be careful for the moment. Moving into the purple on the petal, I'm going to say that I mixed magenta and turquoise to get this particular purple, but honestly, right at the moment, I can't remember. I built my stretchers and stand out of PVC pipe, but I wasn't able to glue them together because I need to be able to break everything down and get it out of the way. So I gotta put up with the wobble. Most of the time it's not too bad, but it looks bad on camera, I gotta say. Sorry about that. Now some water to help those colors blend together so they don't stay looking like, well, stripes. Sprinkling a little salt on the petal to add some visual texture. This is going to push the water and dye around. my dye, paint with water, sprinkle some salt, rinse and repeat. I have to laugh. So many creative endeavors. There's an awful lot of tedious repetition for something that turns out so different every single time. But there we go. Once again, sped up by about a thousand and a little bit, I think. This flower took 45 minutes, give or take. It's a long time to just sit and watch in real time. I do have another video that's real time. It's about an hour of painting some wings. Um, 
unfortunately it's not really an ASMR because I'm either not listening to anything, in which case you get to hear the sounds of, say, the laundry in the background, or I'm listening to my music, in which case I have to cut it all out because of copyright reasons. But you guys can let me know if you want more real time, just watching the colors flow together without sound. I'm happy to do it for you. Let me know. We've reached the point that will make some heads explode. I am adding dye outside the lines of the flower. I know, right? Then I'm going to add water to encourage that extra dye to bleed all over the place. And then I'm going to come back with a little brush and scrub and really make it bleed outside of the lines. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Now an eyedropper full of water. Since I've already sprinkled the salt and it's done a beautiful job making texture, I don't want to brush water on. It's gonna move the salt, kind of erase some of the texture. If I do the eyedropper, it will allow the colors to bleed some more and spread out some more, yes. Uh, but it will also allow some of the original salt marks to stay while adding additional salt marks, if that makes sense. Second verse, same as the first. I flip the scarf around, Time to do the tulips on the other end. more water around the outside, then more water dropped in on the inside, 
Bleed, baby, bleed. When I'm looking at it from this perspective afterwards, I think one of these times it might be really interesting to do the background so that it just barely touches the bleeding outline of the flower. So that the halo around the flower is, I don't know, more a part of the flower rather than kind of a secondary halo tied in with the background. You'll see what I did at the end with it and then you can tell me if you think I should have done it the other way. Gorgeous. You can see here how the halo effect has bled out from the flowers and is still there behind the charcoal background. This is, believe it or not, the look that I was aiming for. I really like it and I think maybe next time I might go for a stronger halo. We'll see. Using the spray bottle spritzing drops onto the entire scarf. This is adding more visual texture. All of those little dark spots of the wet dye will now show up as slightly textured. And it's going to do that on the leaves and on the flowers because I'm good with it doing it over the entire piece. 
And I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times, adding more spritz, spreckles. quick video of the booth before we finished setting up. Thanks for mom. And I think that is the only picture I have of the scarf when it's finished. But there we go. Lovely. And gone.